Tezos community. This is Idea Unsound, and I just wanted to take a few moments to make a quick video showing how to purchase Tezos, send those Tezos to a wallet, and then swap those Tezos for HDAO on the decentralized exchange KippaSwap from start to finish. Um, this tutorial assumes only that you have a Coinbase account or some other account that you can on-ramp fiat to Tezos, and everything else will be covered from there. Also, we can use this method to swap for other tokens than just HDAO. However, HDAO is tied to the decentralized NFT art marketplace Hicketnunk, which is responsible for a lot of the activity on Tezos right now. So I figured it would be a good idea to kind of put a spotlight on that token in particular. So the first thing I want to do is log in to my Coinbase account like I have here. And then. I'll choose to purchase some Tezos from the buy and sell options. I want to buy Tezos. So I'll ensure that I choose the correct cryptocurrency here. Ah, here it is. And I want to purchase $10 worth of Tezos. So I'll type in 10 here. We'll go ahead and preview the buy. And it's telling me that I'm going to get 1.7 Tezos or XTZ for my purchase. So we'll click buy now. Great. Now I have placed my buy order and my Tezos portfolio amount should update here shortly. Okay. And the amount that I've purchased is instantly available. Uh, I've been hit with a little bit of a fee there. So I ended up with $8.96 worth of Tezos from my original $10 purchase. However, I now have access to this and can send this to any wallet that I choose. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the Kukai wallet, uh, which is one of the more popular Tezos wallets with which we can interact with KipiSwap. I'm choosing Kukai in particular because if you have a Twitter, Reddit, or Google account, then you already have an account that you can use for authorization with Kukai. Uh, and in this tutorial, I'll be using my Twitter account authorization to handle all of the login for that portion. So we'll switch over to Kukai now, which is wallet.kukai.app. We have to accept the cookies, or we can decline, but I chose to accept. Um, and we'll click the direct authorization button here. Direct authorization will give us the option to log in with, like I said, Google, Reddit, or Twitter. I'm going to choose my Twitter account. Twitter information should log in automatically. So now I'm logged into my Kukai wallet with my Twitter account. And I can see here that my Twitter handle, Unsound Musing, is the login name there. So that's indicating that I have correctly logged in with Twitter. What I need to do now is send that Tezos from Coinbase to my Kukai wallet. And I can do that by copying the address here and choosing to send my Tezos to here. So I'll go ahead and click this copy button on the address portion there and pop back over to Coinbase. Now I want to send my Tezos. I'll paste in the wallet there. I'm going to send all the Tezos that I have available, which is $8.97 approximately. And I'm going to pay the Tezos there. After I've verified that everything looks correct and that the address is correct, I'll go ahead and click continue. And it's going to ask me to verify that I am wanting to send 1.7 Tez to this address here, which I do. I'll enter my two-step verification here. And we're good to go. Now I just have to wait for the transaction to verify and for the Tezos to end up in my account here. Alrighty, and just like that, it took about 30 seconds or so. I cut that time out of the video just to save just for the sake of brevity uh, but it took about 30 seconds for the tezos to arrive and i can see here i received 1.7 tezos from coinbase delegator great so 
Now, the next step is to connect my Kukai wallet to KipiSwap. So that way I can exchange these Tezos for HDAP. And the easiest way to do that is to head over to this website here, tezos.ee forward slash DeFi. And that is a great list of currently featured DeFi products in the Tezos ecosystem. So if we quickly look at some of these, we have our choice here, HDAO, as well as some select other tokens that, that we can trade for. SDAO, the newly released wrap, TCAO, BDAO, StakerDAO, and others. To enable trading of the pair that we're looking for, which is Tezos to HDAO, we just come over here and we click this HDAO QSwap pair button. And this will pop open a QuipaSwap window with that pair loaded up for us. So now I'm at the KipaSwap decentralized exchange page. And what I want to do first thing is connect my Kukai wallet to this page. So I'll click connect another wallet, select Kukai from the list, and then approve the connection on the Kukai page. Great. Now that it has been approved, we can head back over to keep a swap and I'll see my Tezos balance reflected in the top right corner there. Here on the keep a swap page, I have a couple of options. I can swap Tezos for different tokens. I can send Tezos or tokens and I can invest into the liquidity pools for different token pairs um, as well as delegate bakers as I can with any other Tezos application. What we're interested in doing is swapping our XTZ for HDAO, which is the Hicketnunk governance token. Just like that. And what we want to do is select how much Tezos we want to exchange for HDAO. Right now, since I have a total of 2.3 Tezos, I think I'll do two Tezos. And I'll receive 0.4 HDAO in return. I can look at the bottom here and see the exchange rate is 1 HDAO is approximately 4.9 Tezos and I can adjust for slippage tolerance here as well. Um, as the activity is not exceeding um, astronomical levels I could probably leave the slippage at the lowest and not have any issues. However if I'm finding that my transactions are repeatedly failing I can increase the slippage to increase the chances of my transactions completing successfully. So now that I have my HDAO Tezos pair selected and I have the amount of Tezos that I would like to swap in the box there, we'll go ahead and swap the pair. And I had to come over to my Kukai page here where it asks me if I want to actually do what I claimed I did want to do on the other page. I'll click preview and I can preview the transaction here on the Tezos blockchain. It's coming from my unsound musing account there. And that's the official address. I can see the fee that I'm paying as well. So right now 0 0.007996 Tezos. We'll go ahead and confirm. Authorize. And if we head back over here, success. We've purchased 0.4 HDAO with two Tezos. And it will go ahead and confirm on the blockchain. I won't see the amount reflecting immediately here. However, if I refresh the page, um, I'll give it a few more seconds here, but after I refresh the page, I should see the Tezos amount has changed. And there we have it. Took about, again, 30, so, 30 seconds or so, but now the Tezos amount is reflecting correctly. I have about 0.4 Tezos left, 0.35. If I go over here, to Kukai success, I've received 0.4 HDAO in return. So there we have it. We've successfully swapped Tezos 
for HDAO, and now we have HDAO in our Kukai wallet. Now, you might be asking, what can we do with HDAO? If we go over to Hicketnunk, or HIN, as it's affectionately called, we can go ahead and sync our wallet. We get a similar pop-up asking if we are sure we want to do this. When we're on Hicketnunk, we can use HDAO to upvote artwork that we like, and it will become more visible in the artwork queue. So for example, if I go to my assets, I believe I have collected one object. There. there we go. So I collected this object during the object for object giveaway. I thought it was pretty cool. If I want to, I have the option to upvote the piece by clicking on this circle here. And this will send a portion of HDAO to the account to make the artwork more visible on the network. If I go back to my manage page, so we'll manage assets here. This is the landing page for any pieces that I create myself. I don't have any creations on this account currently. However, I can see reflected underneath my address the amount of HDAO that I had. And that is the amount that I just purchased with Tezos. So all in all, we were able to purchase Tezos with Coinbase and then use those Tezos to purchase HDAO on the decentralized exchange KeepaSwap. If we want to, we can use the Tezos to then purchase pieces on Hicketnunk or use the HDAO to upvote pieces that we find attractive on the website. There will be more options for things to do with HDAO in the future. However, right now it's mainly used as a tool to upvote art. I hope this was informative and helpful and I hope that this helps anyone that has been having trouble purchasing HDAO in the past. My Twitter handle is Unsound Musings, and uh, I make these videos for the Tezos community. So hopefully this has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe, and look for more Tezos tutorials in the future. Thank you.